was at full strength. So I, I feel like everybody got better. And, you know, probably as young as we are, probably two bye weeks probably helped. You know, I was able to, you know, take some fall camp type mentality into those two weeks and be a little blue collar and get some more fundamental days. So I think your team grows, your players grow as you do that, especially young guys. Well, the Jacksonville State football team has certainly had an unorthodox start to the schedule for the last two seasons. JSU's had two bye weeks in the first four weeks of the year, but now they begin a first of a nine week stretch into end of the regular season. The Gamecocks will open up OVC play on Saturday against Tennessee Tech, and the players say they've learned a lot about themselves in the first two games and look for a strong finish to end this season. You got to take care of your body when you play that many games in a row. And we really learn how to do that, come into treatment, get whatever you need worked on, fixed. You know, that's key to the nine straight games in a row. Another thing that we learn is these bye weeks, you got to take them like they're game weeks. Because it's hard to get in a rhythm when you got weeks off like that. We've put ourselves in a situation where we have to go out and play every week. You know, we can't take no time off. It's, it's go time now. And, you know, we've had those two bye weeks, and I feel like we handled those pretty well. And, you know, conference plays here now. And, you know, it's time to win that baby five times in a row and go out and show what Jackson State football is about. Meanwhile, the Gamecocks are back in the top 10 of the FCS national rankings today. JSU's ninth in the coaches poll and 10th in the media stats poll. The Gamecocks and Golden Eagles square off Saturday. Burgess Snowfield in Jacksonville. Kickoff set for 6 p.m. You can catch it on ESPN+.